This is the wiggle effect and how you can use it in After Effects. To speed up the workflow, I will be using the following keyboard shortcuts and to save you time, here are the video time tags or markers. In the end, I will also show you an easy to use match cut transition, plus how to loop it with the first basic morph animation. Level 1, Morph. To create this morphing wiggle animation, I thought it could be fitting to morph a wig into the letter L. Make sure that the anchor points are centered in each image. Press Y and you can move the anchor point around. Let's create a null object by holding Ctrl Alt, Shift and pressing Y to be able to control the two layers or footage. Enter and I will change the name to controller and move the layer up to the top. Press Y and move the anchor point to the center of the red square while holding Ctrl to snap it in place. Or hold Ctrl Alt and hit the home button. V and drag the null object over to the wig while holding Ctrl to snap it and sync it with that anchor point. Go forward to one second and to be able to move the wig with the null object, we will use the parent and link pick whip. So just drag and drop it over the controller layer to lock them. Move three frames to the left by holding Ctrl and pressing arrow left. P to open position and Shift R to also be able to see the rotation. Let's create two keyframes here. Move three frames to the right and to create a little bit of anticipation. Drag the wig just a little bit to the left here while combining it with a small rotation of minus 10 degrees. Move forward again to two seconds and rotate the wig all the way to 180 degrees. Then drag it over to match up with the L. Mark all keyframes, drag over them or press Ctrl at A then F9 to ease them adding some smoothness to the movement. Mark the first two keyframes and drag the yellow line and dot to the furthest right, thus making it start slower and, and gradually picking up more speed. The right keyframe we drag almost all the way to the left. Here we want to find the peak or the fastest point of the graph with the time cursor. Let's just adjust it slightly to fit it perfectly. Here we will make a cut for the morph or match cut. Click on the wig layer, then Alt plus right bracket or 9 on the keyboard. Drag in the end, one frame, then press Alt and left bracket for 8 to trim the layers. I just realized that we haven't parented the other L layer, so move the time cursor to the right two keyframes. Then pick whip that layer as well to the controller or null object. I will also add a bit of motion blur by ticking these two boxes. Level 2 wiggle loop effect. Mark the wig and L layers, go to effects and presets and search for wiggle. Double click the wiggle loop effect to apply it to both layers. Go forward to the first keyframe of the wig layer. I will keep the speed of the effect at 25 but change the intensity or movement to 10. Create a keyframe for both. Move forward to the end of the layer and let's ramp up the speed here to 40 and do the same to the intensity creating a gradually increasing wiggling effect while morphing. Next, mark the L layer and change the speed to 20 and intensity all the way down to 5. For now, the animation looks like this, as a simple morph from one object to another. Level 3. Transitions and Loop To get the animation, perhaps a bit more interesting, with a basic transitioning match cut, let's press Ctrl Y to get up a solid layer, which will represent a new scene. Drag it down to the bottom in the timeline, and match the beginning of it to the end of the wig layer. And we have this simple transition. To be able to loop this animation, I will start with marking all layers except for the wig, and cut the layer here with Alt plus left bracket. Then mark the top three layers and press Ctrl D to duplicate them. And let's move them up to the very top. Drag the layers so the beginning starts at the end of the others and swap or switch places for the wig and L layers. Mark them all again, hold Ctrl and Alt while hitting R. Then just drag the end of the white solid layer to the middle of the cut hair. Go to the end of the controller and wig layer. Press N to trim the work area to the time cursor and Ctrl Shift plus X to trim the composition to the work area. To be able to further loop this animation, I will use a simple expression. Mark all layers, Ctrl A, then Ctrl Shift plus C to pre-compose or collect all layers into one composition. I will name it Wiggle Morph Loop. Increase the composition in the composition settings, Ctrl K, to how long you want to loop the animation. I will roughly double mine. Press Ctrl Alt T to enable time remapping for the layers to be able to adjust its timing and speed. Go to the stopwatch of the layer, pressing this little icon here while holding Alt at the same time. Thus we are able to write our expressions to 
influence the animation. Right, loop out and choose that expression. Move forward to the end of the layer and you can drag it out as long as you want the animation to loop or last for. As the time remapping and one frame after the animation, creating a problem with one frame missing. We can solve this by creating a new keyframe, one frame left of the first one, then delete that old one afterwards. Now we can use our time remapping to both endlessly loop the animation and by dragging the keyframe here further to the left, also speed up the animation. And that's it, here's your final animation. Thank you for watching, if you found this video helpful, check out the next one.